when kids may be back in school, but the hot temps outside are reminding us it is still summer. Oh, yeah, and the city of Miami is helping make sure residents in need beat the heat. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live in Liberty City, where families without air conditioning are finally getting some relief. Riel. Now, Lauren and Mary Bell, hard to believe it in weather like this when it feels at the very least like it's 100 degrees outside. Air conditioning seems almost as important, you'd think, as the air that we breathe. Well, these families, a great many of whom, if you can believe it, had been living without air conditioning until now. And to think that there are people in this community that are living without basics, uh, air conditioning. In the sweltering heat. Sorry to bother. Ooh, it feels nice and cool in here. It's the mayor and city manager door to door making house calls. It's really hot outside. Checking in on people in the Liberty Square housing projects. We're hoping that um, that you can uh, live in a little bit more comfort. People like Jimmy Harris's elderly mother just released from the hospital suffering from, among other things, dehydration. She was sweating so much that her kidneys was um, going bad. The family had been living in Miami without air conditioning until the city stepped in. I've been here in very, very tragic moments where there have been some uh, shootings. Mayor Francis Suarez has walked this neighborhood so many times before. But I've also seen some things that very much bother me. Uh, people living in what I would consider subhuman conditions. Today, he was here to see progress. 51 new air conditioning units paid for, donated by the city, and installed in Miami-Dade County public housing. How does it feel to have a working AC? It feels good. It's very hot in Miami. For families like Harris's, this is life, if not life changing. I hope that that this will make it even better for people. See that there is hope out there and that we can move ahead without all the violence. Yeah, some of those newly installed air conditioning units, we, the city did give priority to the elderly and those with special needs. This being public housing, we did ask how it could be that anyone would be left here without air conditioning for any length of time. The county has not gotten back to us, from, but from our understanding, the federal requirement is only that they be supplied with heat. It leaves a lot of people scratching their heads here in South Florida. We're live in Liberty City, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.